Hey friends, today we are going to rig a uh, engine. So let's begin with it. So this is the engine body. It is a rough model of an engine. So let's start. Uh, let me first hide all the gears, the engine body, and uh, maybe one piston setup also. So we are left with a piston setup. So we'll rig this up so for that we first of all create a joint system for that we'll go to the front view press the space bar go to skeleton then go create a joint we'll press the V key to snap at the center the center vertex of the piston system so here we are and then press enter so we have created a joint, we'll check it in the perspective. So it's a little outwards, we'll put it inside the piston mechanism, like this. We'll open the, enable the x-ray view. Now what we'll do is select the piston body in this part. Then select a joint shift select and then press P so that now the joint is the parent of this part of the piston so if you if you select the joint and move it then the piston part is moving now when we move the piston part from the bottom it moves the complete part which is not something like that we want so what we'll do is create a IK handle. So we'll select the joint, press space bar and go to skeleton and go to IK handle tool. Now we'll select the lower joint, then just click, click left click on the upper joint and the handle is created. So now when we select the lower joint and move it, it will work as the same way it was working earlier but this is not what we want so we'll open the outliner we'll select the IK handle go to the attributes editor of the IK handle then go to IK handle attributes then enable the stickiness we'll make it sticky from off so when now we select the joint and move it you'll see that the pivot of the object is set so it always moves according to this pivot so now we what we want is that this part this this part should move only when this part rotates about this pivot okay so for that we'll create a locator space bar create locator as expected the locator will be created at the origin so we'll press W then we'll press V and we'll snap it at the center of this cylinder here so this is here so now what we'll do is just being selected the locator we'll select the this part here and we'll press P so this will make the locator child of this part so now when we rotate it at this pivot the locator rotates with this object here so to make the locator visible I'll increase the size of the locator now you can see that locator moves with the part and now we we'll select the inner cylinder that is just the part in the piston mechanism and do the same operation piston and select the shift shift select the locator and then P so this is now controlled by this part only now what we'll do is select the cylinder 
and enable the x-ray view then select the joint then go to the cons press spacebar go to constraints and enable the point constraint now if we rotate this the part moves according to the knee this is how a piston works but what we want now is that this upper part of the piston moves upwards and downwards with this movement with the, with the movement of this part so what we'll do is enable the x-ray vision again and we'll create a locator at this point also so the same process spacebar create and the locator we we'll press W, we we'll press V now and we will snap it with the center. We will make the locator bigger in size. We will move it downwards. And nearby the joint itself. Then uh, we will make the locator the parent of this object. So for that we will select this part. Then select the locator, shift select and then P. This will create a parent-child relationship in the system. So now the locator is the parent of this part. Now selecting the locator and selecting the joint or maybe what we can do is select the joint, select the locator and go to constraints menu and apply a point constraint. So now and we make sure that you are not selecting the uh, IK handle here we just have to select the joint so now if we rotate this part this part of the piston moves upwards and downwards according to the knee this is just how the piston system works in an engine so now what we'll do is we want this part to move according to the rotation of this part so we'll just apply a orient constraint so for that we'll select this part then shift select this one and go to constraints and enable an orient constraint so now rotating this one rotate that and rot all the mechanism will work properly as you can see This is one piston set setup completed. Let's enable the second setup and we'll do the same operation on this one. Now let's rig the gear system. So what we want here is that when we when I rotate this gear, this gear rotates in the opposite direction and so does this one. So for that we will create an expression that rotation of this is negative of the rotation of this and is negative of the rotation of this so that it works in a proper manner. So let's start with it. For that we will first select this one, we will check the rotation axis that would be uh, Z axis. So we will go to rotate Z and we will go to edit and we will go to expressions. So we'll copy this one, control C and control V. Then I'll press is equals to and I'll again paste the same control V but as this or uh, this gear here is the gear one, so I'll select gear one and I'll give a negative symbol so that the direction is reversed. And I'll put a semicolon and then create and then close. Oh sorry, oops sorry, this is gear 3. So what we'll do is we'll go to rotate Z, edit, expression and change this 1 to 3. And I'll do this edit and then I'll just say close. So now if I rotate this, so you can see that rotating this gear rotates the next gear accordingly. So we'll repeat the same step in this one. We'll select this gear, 
so this is gear 1 and this is gear 2 so we'll select the gear 1 we'll go to rotate z we'll go to edit expressions we'll copy all this and we'll put in is equals to sign we'll put a negative sign we'll, we'll paste it again control b and then we'll go to this one we'll erase it and we'll put a, a gear 2 since we want this gear to be controlled by this gear so this will be gear 2 we'll go and press create and close it so now rotating this gear rotates every other gear in the z axis and it works perfectly you can see that so I'll put a zero and here and now after that we want this gear to control the rotation of this mechanism here so they can two methods uh, either we I could put an expression here that the rotation of this is equals to the rotation of this or I could just put an orient constraint here we'll select this one then shift select this one I'll put I'll press the space bar I'll go to constraints and I'll go for orient constraint here so now rotating this one rotates the whole mechanism so this is how the engine mechanism works So this is how the final video looks like. You can add things, you can delete things from your engine. The engine model will be different but the uh, base structure and the base mechanism of an engine model would be the same. So I am sure this video will help you and if you like the video just click on the like button and if you want su more such videos subscribe to the channel or give me a comment comment below or you can even mail me the mailing address is linked with the channel and hope you guys like it and it would be helpful for you